Hey everybody, this is Val here. Welcome to. Uh, I have to admit, I am not feeling the greatest right now, so forgive me. So welcome all you dudes and dudettes to another Dungeon Hunter live stream. Yay! So we got to start this one out with kind of an FYI and uh, something to be careful of. I ran into it um, yesterday. So shortly after my stream, I was talking about six-starring my uh, Zevron Water AA. So I went to do that. I built five um, Thizzle Puffs. Uh, fuzzle puffs, excuse me, as you can see, that's why I have a reduced amount here. And I went to go promote him, and right when I clicked the promote button, so I had all my fodder in here, the game locked up. And I waited patiently, I thought, oh, you know, let me let me just be patient and um, see if what happens. So about a minute and a half went by, and I closed it, restarted it. I didn't have a six stars ever on, and when I came back in, I only had two of my five star uh, fuzzle puffs. So be careful when promoting units. Um, I reported it in the on in Discord under the Windows, and they did get back to me, and they're working on it. I sent them some screenshots, so hopefully that will get resolved soon. But you know, just be careful. Just be careful when promoting units. So that's the only bad thing that happened. I'm a little bummed. I was really looking forward to six-starring him and leveling him. It, it did kind of knock the wind out of me. If you take a look at my summons, normally I farm consistently um, all week. But, I mean, it just hasn't gone great. I normally have double this by this time. Hey, uh, welcome, Waffle. Yeah, it did suck. It did. And it just kind of killed my, my want to farm. Like, I mean, I know they're going to hook me up. They'll, they'll fix the issue. But it just sucks to have it happen, you know, so it just it, it it made me feel like not playing it really did So I haven't been farming like I normally would um, But that's okay. That's okay So we're gonna start off the stream with some PvP because I am really behind on PvP I haven't checked because of what happened in a while My defense is consistently losing oh, what, what a bummer. I, I really got to get my PvP act together but it's it's so hard. I mean, you guys find it hard to stay on top of it. Like I do. It just it gets away from me. And so, oh well. How you doing tonight, Waffle? Life treating you good? Yeah, I know. I know. It's just I don't it just the whole issue with my Zevron, it honestly just made me not it really made me not want to play. It, I'll, I'll be just straight up honest about it. Like, I'm, I'm not... I understand bugs and things like that happen, right? But it just sucked so bad. Like, it was just like, are you kidding me? Like, because I was so pumped. Oh, that's cool. You're moving? All right, man. Moving into a house? Or moving across state? I'm sorry if I'm being nosy. You can put me in my place and just say Nunyan. I have. Yeah, I remember that. For me, it wasn't even that long ago. It was like seven years. Um, that's when we got the house I'm in now. It's definitely an experience. If I can make a suggestion, Waffle, I hope it's okay. But um, those, unless you're like, you know, Mr. Handy, which I'm not. You know, I know computers, but as far as fixing a house, I know nothing. Um, I actually bought one of those home warranties um, and let me tell you best purchase I have ever made like it's replaced our dishwasher and whoa baby in February house in June dude the baby is awesome congrats congrats boy or girl I'm all nosy I know this is going so smooth but we're so so low rank right now no one's really gonna give us an issue so low rank. Oh, girl. Oh, man. Girls are different. I'll be honest. Maybe I'm, I'm bad, but in my house, there's definitely a, a double standard. I've got three boys and um, one girl, and the girl's the youngest. And uh, I'm way more protective of her than I was of my boys at the same age. 
And congrats, man. That's a, that's a lot of life change in a, such a short time. That is awesome. I remember my first, I was like, what the heck am I going to do? I remember we took him home and uh, he was in his car seat. And we kind of set him in the floor in the living room and just stared at him like, uh, now what? But I was really young. I was really young. We got started very early, like right when we got married. We, we, had, we started having kids. I <laughs> never so no brothers and sisters growing up there waffle to practice on no, no, I, I changed uh, my sister's diaper so I, I had some experience in that issue in uh, that area hey at least you're changing diapers my best friend didn't change diapers. That was his his wife did it. He always told me he could. It was just you know she needed to do it. So they had kind of a a classic split where you know he did the typical guy stuff. She did the kind of woman stuff. So the cooking, the cleaning. He did the house repair, the yard, that kind of thing, which worked for him too. I I had no honestly I don't get it. That, that's pretty cool. Ah, okay. All right. Man, you were affected by Hurricane Katrina. Um, I'm glad you're okay. That was a terrible, horrible thing. No, actually, this is going so smooth. I like it when PVP goes like this, but it's only going like this because we're such low rank. I mean, I'm I have no illusions, but. It goes this this smooth in higher level too. It's you have to stay on it. You really do, especially with revenge now. So people are gonna be striking back more, which is gonna ca cause you to fall faster, which means you gotta play more. Which is, I mean, it's all good stuff. It's not like I don't enjoy playing. Well, except for briefly last night, I didn't enjoy the game at all. But um, I I'm down with it. It's just gonna take a lot more work if I want to do well. I really want a siege tower, but I, I don't have a lot of um, discs that I'll be able to summon this Saturday. Normally I have like 30, um, but because I didn't really farm much, I have like no, not a good amount. So I'm not really hope, I'm not, I don't have any hope that I'm going to get something good. Water ink, oh you lucky son of a gun. I want an ink ninja so bad, like so, so bad. I would really like one. I, I If I had a preference, because you know we all have the preference of the element we'd like, it'd be um, the Nature Ink Ninja for sure. No doubt. But I would take in either of them, to be honest with you. They're, they all look amazing. I haven't seen a uh, yellow lasers since two weeks into the game's release. Like it's just, it sucks, but that's okay. I mean, I I got two really good nat fives, so it's hard for me to complain. Like, oh, you know, poor me. I got two awesome nat fives and nothing since. But still, you know, it's that feeling. You want to be like, oh, I pulled something. This is awesome. That pumps you, right? Plus, it, it lets me do new stuff to show you guys. I mean, not that I'm out of new stuff. Like, I've got a ton of units I'm still working on. Plus, oh, Waffle, you weren't here for this. So, I try to be a streamer of my word. Um, you got Fire. Oh, dude, Fire. I want a Greater Demon. You're making me jealous here. You're making me jealous. But, um, speaking of content, I try to be a, a streamer. That keeps my promises to my viewers. Like, so what I'm going to be on, you know, things I'm going to do for you guys. Something you missed that I'm actually um, on Amazon. Hey, Crush. How's it going, buddy? Welcome to the stream. Thanks for coming out, my friend. Um, so I actually made a promise, like on Saturday's stream, 
I was being goofy as uh, everyone who's come in normally has seen me be. And uh, I actually made a promise that I am going to learn to write, write a unicycle and I am going to either stream it or post it to YouTube. So I am uh, looking on Amazon uh, for a good unicycle. And also, uh, sorry about that, and also for a, uh, a book or tutorial on how to ride one. I haven't decided if I'm going to record the learning process as I'm sure that's going to be a hilarious in and of itself. But um, I really plan on doing it. I haven't made a commitment as to when, but just so um, you guys that are regular know, the unicycle video is coming. It's going to happen. It's going to happen. And I'm doing well, Crush. Thanks for asking, man. Um, other than I didn't get my six stars ever on yesterday due to a glitch in a system. But other than that, um, peachy keen, as they say. I really wasn't feeling the greatest earlier. I had to take some time off of work and recoup. But I feel slightly better now. Slightly. <laughs> I... Sometimes uh, my mouth writes checks my body unfortunately has to cash so Because I don't want to be one of those guys that makes promises right and it doesn't fulfill them like I gotta come through I mean it's gonna it's gonna be a spectacular failure right Spectacular, but I'm gonna do it. I'll likely do it as a YouTube video So that way I can edit out the really really bad parts instead of live streaming it But um, it's gonna happen it is going to happen. The unicycle video. You think I'm older? You think you're older than you? Uh, prob maybe. Maybe. I'm, I'll say I'm over 36. Which one? It doesn't bother me how old I am. I just don't want people to like uh, be like, that guy's old. I am old, though. Really old. But I'm happy. I'm one of those people that's like cool with it, though. Like, I actually like the gray hair. Like, when my full beard goes gray, I'm going to try to keep my hair shaved as much as possible. Because I like, that's another thing I hate. I hate hair so much. But my wife likes the beard, so it stays. <laughs> This is gonna, this you, I'm like so nervous about the. You, know. you have to be Lauren. There's yeah, no there you go. Dad, dad comes, husband, dad, and then gamer. Got to give the wife top billing, so you know, keeping her good graces. You know, I don't use bad language or anything uh, typically in my streams, but um, I have a rule: never upset the woman who controls your boob supply. So. This is not a good thing to do. Like, you got to keep that woman happy. If you want access, you just got to. I mean, so. Just rules to live by, people. On, on my stream, you learn about THC in life. The lands. We teach life lessons here. You don't get that in other streams, buddy. Never upset. Yep, happy wife, happy life. So true. So true. Kind of, have you guys, by any speaking of that, seen uh, the Nutrigrain I Feel Great commercial? It kind of applies to that happy wife, happy life kind of thing. It is quite possibly one of the funniest commercials I've ever seen in my life. All right, sir. It's going so I bet you I could auto this and have the same results. Not that I'm bragging or anything, it's I'm so low. Like, I haven't been keeping up with it, so the people I fight down here are just they're not the greatest. That's okay. You gotta start somewhere, right? No one starts at the top. I don't care who you are. Ooh, this one's gonna be rough. I will not be manualing this. This is gonna suck. I've got to kill the um, What's this this I have her violet. I think that's her name violet. I have got to kill violet And then I can work on everyone else 
Oh, she did not. Ah, oh, she died. Okay, we're good. Once Violet went down, it wasn't going to be anything after that. Because she is just so annoying. I wish I... I, I want to build her, like, finish her. Oh, can I... Okay, I at least got to get her. See, this is what happens. All right, I got her. You got to get their support now, especially in this team. This, this team has very strong supports. All right, now we can just work on everyone else. See, back in the day, this team would have been really unbeatable because the water AA would have just constant stun because their uh, Archangel's AoE effect was broken and it counted as an immobilize as well. What skills are on Light Basilisk? Well, we just cleared the list, which means I'm out of PvP energy. So let's show you, my friend. I have no problem with that. Let's head back to the uh, champion menu. And I will show you, Crush. Light Bass, Light Bass. Where are you at? Camille. There's Camille. All right. Oh, you said skills. Okay, so we got Ren. This does damage based on offense, um, defense. That's his uh, auto attack. Cryptic Barrier is immunity for himself and allies. Searing Breath is a lowers defense, which is always a good thing everywhere. Petrifying Glare, which is a stun. And then uh, base, this one does damage based off uh, defense, and this one does damage based off defense. So That's Light Bass. I really, really, really like this guy. He is just amazing. Here's uh, his uh, stats that I have. I got him rocking with 2K uh, defense and 38K health. Didn't really focus on attack or accuracy. I just want him to be tanky. He's on my um, PvP uh, offense and defense teams. Because I bring him for the immunity. Because everyone has like stun or some shenanigans. They always want to land on you in PvP. So it's good to have immunity so you don't get stun locked. You don't have to worry about people with like OP snake ladies dropping uh, OGD on you. He's a good unit. He's a good. I, if you have him, he is worth building. For sure. And he's actually really good in um, Steel Widow as well. I just don't use him. Actually, you know what? I haven't used him in a while in Steel Widow. Do you use anything to counter AA's invulnerability? I do not, no. No, when I, when I see a team, like the one we just played, I knew it was good. Yes, I'm going to six star him. No doubt, sir. No doubt. Um, my... Uh, my next six star once um, game loft refunds me or however they're gonna fix the the issue I ran into last night once they give me my other three um, five star fizzle puffs that I lost due to a bug last night then I'm gonna six star this guy that's what I was actually doing I, I was I was promoting him and the game crashed and when I closed it and came back I had lost three of the fuzzle puffs and he was still five star so once uh, customer service resolves that I'm gonna six star him. And then the next person in my list is likely going to either be um, uh, my fire snake lady or, or I was thinking about, hey, there's my boy Roar. What's up, player? How you doing? Mm -hmm. Man, it's so good to see you. And I'm glad you came out. I'm on the other end this time, sir. So, uh. You're watching me, creeper. You're sitting here watching me, man. I'm going to report you to the proper authorities. Stalking me and everything. <laughs> I'm playing with you, man. I'm just happy you came out. Happy you came out. I'll see you next time you stream. I'm sorry that uh, I'm not always there when you do. I feel bad. I feel bad. That was the person I Oh, it looks all right. Dude, yours looks great. Don't, don't be so hard on yourself. Yours looks great. Just so you guys know. Roar is, um, we used to be uh, in a guild together in a game called uh, Lineage 2 Revolution. And uh, he was a streamer, and I would help him out with some graphics and some video editing and things like that. So he has to get a good stream. He plays a lot of uh, World of Warships now these days. So he's a cool guy. He's a cool cat. I like him a lot. He's young, though. He's young. Really young. I think he's like nine and a half. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. He is a young buck, though. He is a young buck. All right, so um, it's Crush. After that, I'm thinking Snake Lady or 
Oh, I really don't know, man. It's a rough choice, because here's the thing. Baba Crut, this is my girl right here. Me and Baba, we've we been through some stuff, man. We, we, we've been through some serious stuff together. So I really want to six-star her. But in my head, I know Snake Lady is better. Um, yeah, I do use uh, my Fire Snake Lady in SW10. But the thing is, I have a million and one things I can do in SW10. So it's like, I mean, I don't have... I used to have a set team, but now because I've been um, testing out units so much for people in my stream, I have a really good variety of teams that I can swap in and try. As a matter of fact, just for grins, I want to see if this works. So let's, let's do that. Because I haven't used them in um, this in a long time. It's been a while. As my kids would say, it's been a minute. But Snake Lady is really good. Like, so when I use Baba Cruck, Baba Cruck's max skill, she's on Mortal Keen. She's got 86% crit. With her self buff, it does go up to 100%. And and I say this all the time when I mention, when she, uh, when I mention Mortal, guys. If you're going to go Mortal... You have to have high crit damage or crit rate. It makes you're you're doing yourself a disservice if you're going mortal and you have like 30, 40, 50, 60 percent crit, because mortal's all about critting a lot and critting hard. So if you're gonna go mortal, I would highly recommend at least over 75 percent crit. So uh, now that being said, even with uh, Bubba Cruck built like she is, I think she's on 150 percent crit damage. She is still slightly, slightly slower than Snake Lady. Because I think my Snake Lady clears are like a minute 15, a minute 14. And no, a minute 12 actually. And then my Bubba Crut clears are like a minute 20, a minute 23. I pulled one SLS Nature, a bit sad. I can use it. No, but she's still perfectly usable in Elder Drake 10 now, Crush. Don't, don't worry about it, man. She's still a good pull. And not only that, here's the thing, buddy. I I have used weak elements in both ED10 and SW10 and been successful. You just have to go high survivability. When I do that, I always bring my Naga. Gotta roll a Naga because your Naga will keep them shielded and it'll keep things going smooth so you don't have to worry about it dying. You know what? And this is working, but it's really slow. Right, taking out Alia. So, see, this is another team I could use. This one's gonna give me more stability. So, and here's the thing: when you're starting out and you're running SW10 or ED10, don't worry about speed. You know, don't don't be frustrated if you post in Discord and they say you say, "Oh, well, I clear it in like two minutes, ten seconds," or "I clear it in a minute and fifty seconds," or whatever. And they're like, "Well, that's really slow. What team are you running?" Don't worry about it. Here's the thing, you always want, in the beginning, when you're just getting in, and even later, you want stability over speed. If you're super fast and you wipe nine, if you wipe like 10, 20% of the time, you're, it would still be better for you to take the extra 20 or 30 seconds and be stable and go for 100%. Like, don't, don't get frustrated if your team is slow. Not at all. Slow and steady will win the race. I mean, that's just because, you know, it's a popular thing. Like people will say, well, your team does it in this. Well, my team does not in that. And it's fine. It's fine. As long as you are consistent, that's all you need. Never sacrifice consistency for speed. Just don't. Don't do it. It's not, it's not a good thing. And Nature Naga. Yeah, dude, same here. Same here, Crush. My um, super stable team, I actually use two Nagas. And it clears it like in like a minute 45, a minute 40, around there. Pretty much all my stable teams are at the like minute 40, minute 50 mark. And I like that, to be honest. I like knowing that I have something where I don't have to worry about wiping. I can auto it and forget it. Roar, what you got going on tonight, sir? Not, are you going to stream or are you just, you're just chilling tonight, relaxing? Yeah, I like this team. I really like uh, Camille. He's good. He is good. And here, that immunity is just so good, so you don't have to worry about the dots. Now, if you're running Naga 
um, you don't want to run immunity. Now that sounds weird. The reason why is Naga's um, uh, skill one. When they get a debuff, they will return the debuff to the the uh, boss. So it helps you stack OGD because the boss is constantly putting OGD on you. Oh, okay, just finishing dinner. I had dinner earlier. My wife made a, a classic in our house, which is a ground beef, rice, and gravy. And you just stack it. You put some rice down, put some ground beef, beef on top of that, and then you uh, throw some gravy on top of it. Good stuff. It's a dish I came up when my kids were younger, and I didn't want to cook. And uh, it ended up being one of their favorites, so it's kind of a, a staple in our house. Oh, you pulled lemon drop. Like, all right, good job. That's good. You know, I do have a project for the um, the green one. I think her name's Peppermint. So I'm going to run her uh, once I build her. I don't know where I'm going to run her. Oh, that still sounds good. Stir fry rice is good, man. Actually, both dishes we had are very similar. Extremely similar. So, I mean, it's very, very similar. Dude, this works. This works. Let's try something crazy. I want to try like... Here, I'll show you my um, really uh, stable team. Oh, she's good in AO. Really? Hmm. When I build her, I'll try her. She's a little bit off. I've got other projects I'm working on. But um, when I do, I'll, I'll, I'll throw her in AO. See how she does. Give her a run for her Monet. I don't know why I said money like that. It made it sound like I'm talking about the painter. Monet. But I meant money. Yeah, big damage dealer. All right. I, I'm pretty good on arena offense for damage, but I'm always willing to test out stuff. Always. Because, you know, the game, is it gets stale if you just run the same thing all the time. It, it does. Like, you want to build new stuff, try new things. Let's, let's kick him out, speaking of that. I wish my Casey had gear. I'd show you guys her. She's really good. You know what? Let's try it with this rat. Because I built this rat, right? Because I was looking for if I wanted to go full yellow team, right? Full yellow, meaning very little sustain but high damage. And this rat actually buffs crit, da or crit rate and attack all in one unit. And I've tested him in a few places, and he's worked really, really well. I want to see what he does here. In this team, we're basically saying that pretty much Monus and um, Snake Lady are going to carry DPS here. Because we don't have anyone else when we run the rat. I got a 5-star him, though. Maybe that's what I'll do on stream today. I'll 5-star him. I wish I had the Dark one so I could just bring him anywhere. Um, Dark Ranger was a request when I first started streaming, if I remember correctly. To see how she does because uh, she was one of the first events in the game and a lot of people were like oh she's garbage she's garbage she's not worth getting and I was like I don't listen to that I looked at her skills and said you know what she looks good I'm gonna get her and build her and then um, someone asked me in stream hey could you use her gear her up and uh, she works man she works great if you have a Casey and you're looking for a good DPS then she's it now, her major downside... Oh, the rat died, which means there's going to be AoE, which means it's a white. That's one thing here. If someone dies, you're pretty much done. But um, anyway, uh, so the, her one catch is that her AoE that applies OGD, unfortunately, that AoE can only apply it once. So what that means is if you've got a group of mobs and she does her AoE, she drops her OGD, and then because of cooldown, she does her AoE again, if her OGD is still on those same mobs, she won't stack it. It'll still only be the one stack. That is her downside. I use her just to keep stacks consistent. Because she's always going to apply hers, even if someone else has an OGD. So that just ensures, when you have someone like that, that your stacks never drop off. And, and, and that's... Oh, I didn't, didn't mean to click replay. Because it's not going to work. He's too squishy. I gotta level his gear, and I've got to five-star him before I can really do anything with him. 
But yeah. So if you have Casey, she is worth investing in. You know, if you want a good unit. And believe it or not, oh, oh my gosh. Mm -hmm. I don't know why I clicked replay. But um, I like building these units because it helps you guys out. And it's worth it. it. And like I said, if you have her, use her. She is really good. But if you have better DPS or you have better OGD units, like you have Snake Lady or something like that, then use those. Yeah, same here. I had a ton of rangers. There was definitely no shortage. Like, I'm really low on fodder right now, to be honest with you, because um, attempting to six-star my water AA last night, like, drained all my fodder. And I was holding on to um, Boon Sisters, because I was going to max skill a fire one, and I had enough to max skill her. But it was either let go of that project for a while and six-star my um, water AA, which I did, Unfortunately, it crashed and didn't work out, but that's okay. You know, that's just how it goes sometimes. I'm not bashing anyone. I'm just patiently waiting for a game loft to resolve the issue. I use Snake Lady and Dark Fox for OGD. Dark Ink has OGD too, but less useful. Oh, okay. I'm building Water Fox too now. I haven't used Water Fox. What, uh, where you plan on using her? I haven't looked at her kit, so I don't know what she brings to the table. More OGD, I'm assuming. No, he can. He can. Several people, um, when I first started streaming, were getting on my case because I hadn't six star it. And back then, my SW10 runs were <laughs> were sketchy to say the least. They were very, very touch and go. Hi. And um, several people let me know I need to six star him so he can just solo it. But I'm working on. He would be six star now if it wasn't for the crash. All right, I'm going to hit up here. I really need to farm this and level this guy. Because I need vital gear. I've been getting good vital gear for my water AA. I've replaced his gloves, chest, and bracer. All those pieces are um, level 15 now. And I'm running, I think, vital sturdy HP, HP, HP. I was thinking about vital sturdy um, attack speed HP, HP. But then I just wanted him tanky because he, he really is there to just live and be annoying on PvP offense. And then he's really there for invulnerability in, um, in SW10. And actually his damage is really decent there with the HP build since he has two skills that hit pretty hard based off uh, max HP. This, and honestly, this guy here, um, I think his name's Malice, the... Uh, the nature scan warlord is really good like i was bringing him here at level one and he was doing good dps and living like i was i'm really surprised with this guy if you have him you can put him in your ed10 team and he will do just fine his heal surprisingly keeps him alive very reliably like i mean honestly I've ran them, yes, no joke. Level one, it's on stream. If you, I can't remember which stream it was, but um, because it, it he is a promise I made to another um, viewer who wanted to see how he would do here because he had him and wanted something he could use. So I built him to save this guy some uh, time, and he works great. Now I don't have fire. I've heard fire is good. And I've also heard the one that I built, which is the nature one, is actually the worst of them because he doesn't have a strip. But apparently the others do, which only, in my opinion, makes him just that much better. Because strip is awesome. Well, AD, yeah, I can see how he would be annoying. But I think in AD, in the current meta, he could work. But I think you really want to go for tanky, like... Tanky, 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 lots of immunity, lots of heals, lots of HP, lots of defense, because you want to run down the clock. I've tried uh, briefly. I didn't, I didn't really give it a chance. I tried a kill AD where the whole point was for me to kill them, but because so many people have like um, Blade Masters, they have really high DPS units, and now the Water Monkey. Water Monkey is ridiculous for AO offense right now. I mean, Water Monkey, in my opinion, is, is I don't have him, but looking at his kit is quite possibly the best one-hit kill AO monster in the game right now. 
Because not only did... Oh, my goodness. No buff was on Monus. Not only do we get, like, crazy damage increase on all their skills, but his skill 3 ignores shields. And it hits for, like, 300% damage. Like, it's ridiculous. Basically, you just go in and you launch it. You don't care if they're stunned. You don't care if they have shields because the skill 3 um, ignores it. And then to top it off, you build a Mortal Keen. So you get um, crit. You get the crit damage from it. And he just, he'll destroy. I mean, he's not going to be good anywhere else. I don't think. I don't think. But Water Monkey for AO as far as one-shot kills, he, he, he's going to be a beast. Well, here, I'll show you right here. Uh, is it this one? Yep, this one. Mischievous clones. Blow, uh, blow strands of his magical hair in a direction, summoning five clones of himself to damage enemies and knock them into air. Damage dealt by clones ignores shields and is guaranteed to crit. So you know what that means? If he's on mortal, you don't even have to use king. You can use whatever the heck you want. You get a guaranteed crit. You built this guy mortal, 250% crit damage. Literally, your matches are probably a couple of seconds at most. Because this is an AoE. It doesn't hit one enemy. It hits enemies. Where does it say? Where is it? I know it says it somewhere. Right here. Clones of himself to damage enemies. Plural. Dude, dude this, this unit, I would... I want to pull him so bad for AO. Yeah, it's AoE, dude. Ignore shields, guaranteed to crit. You build this guy mortal, and you build him with like 200% crit damage, and he's just you're just gonna blow through. I, I don't I don't even understand how you would stop him. I really don't, because you can build tanky all you want. It's not gonna matter to him. He's just gonna be like, all right, I'm gonna hit you for like freaking 20, 30k. Yeah, no, that guy. I want this guy really, really bad. Really, really bad. So, just for AO, though. I don't know how he'll do anywhere else, right? Because he's a one-hit wonder. You know, he's going to blow that. He's going to kill the other team. And then he's not going to have any more tricks up his sleeves, pretty much. So, but I mean, really? I mean, look at that. You just, what else do you need? I mean, that's why, um, and how we found out about this guy, right? So... I didn't know anything about him. I like everyone. And this is before the change, too. I like everyone else. I was like, monkey sucks, blah, blah, blah. And one of my streamers one day is like, hey, Val, I pulled Water Monkey. Can you take a look at it and tell me where I can use him? So I was positive. I was like, first of all, congrats on the pool. Um, we'll take a look. But just so you know, I heard most monkeys aren't that great. And so I looked at it. And at first, I wrote him off and said, nah, man, nah, he ain't good. And then I looked at him. I was like, wait a minute, this skill 3 is redonkulous. Like, this is redonkulous. And then you take a look that he even buffs his own crit. Not that you care about it, but if you do decide to build him keen, and because you're running mortal, you're going to do even more damage. It's like, this guy is just good. And of course, you got like, removes one buff, and then empowered, blah, blah, blah. But his real magic is right here. This mischievous clones. Oh. If I pull them, I would build him in a heartbeat. And I already have a mortal set. I would actually strip my Baba Kruk. As you see, I have only 110%. Um, I think that's my best mortal set. Because who else do I have mortal on? I'm trying to think. Who else do I have mortal on? Uh, uh, I have one other unit on mortal. I think it's him. No, no, it's not him. All right, I know I'll find it when it's relevant if I ever pull that guy. But, yeah, he's crazy. He's crazy. He, he's worth building, guys. If you got him, do not feel bad at all. At all. Build him for PvP and then go wreck some faces. Go kill all the naysayers who said he sucks and then laugh as he uh, hovers over their fallen corpses. Wow, I got dark. That was a little, <laughs> that was a little, a little dark there, Val. A little dark. All right, let me... I haven't done my dailies. Let me start doing that. Um, this stream is going to be about an hour and a half. Just so I didn't say that. Normally I announced it at the beginning. Um, I'm still not feeling the greatest. 
So I was thinking I might go over a little bit, but for sure it's just going to be an hour and a half. We're going to wrap up in about uh, 45 minutes or so. 30, 45 minutes. And this is a normal stream time. Thursday streams happen anywhere between 5 to 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time on Thursdays. It may go a little over 6 sometimes, depending on how my workout goes and if I can uh, haul myself out of the shower afterwards. Because you know how you get that soreness and you get in the shower and it's like, oh, you just like relax there. So that's what it's all dependent on. That's why it's iffy on Thursdays. But Saturdays are a lock always 9.30 to 12, uh, 9.30 a.m. to 12.30 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. And also that's when I do my summons. I save all my summons for Saturday. Oh, you did? For me, it was cardio. It's all cardio. I'm not a leg, arm, abs guy. I just do cardio. Keep the ticker in good shape at my age, so. Not really look to be buff or anything. Yeah, same here, dude. Honestly, because I'm not feeling well, as soon as this stream is over, I'm going straight to bed. I'm going, I have so much work to do tomorrow that I put off. What? So, that's my plan. Alright, we did that. What's left? Challenger. I need to do Challenger. Oh, uh, no, I went the wrong way. No, I'm in Arena. There it is. I forgot they changed it. I was looking for Challenger down here. Like, where is it? Did I go to the right place? Oh, I'm, oh, that's right. I used all my PvP energy. Uh, I really don't want to do a whole 30 gems. I'll wait. I'll wait. I just I just don't feel like doing a whole 30 gem daily mabob. Let's do the daily three summon. <laughs> and I only do these for dailies because, again, I do save my rares for... Uh... Oh, good. I need skill ups. I got the dark one from uh, the last PvP season, so I'll have skill ups for him. And there. I'm also working on a... Uh, oh, more skill ups. I don't think my dark one is max skilled. I don't think so. You know, I don't know. I'm going to... Hopefully, I'm going to find out. I really don't know if he's usable. I'll look at him again. Let's look. Cause I didn't really check out his skills. Lowers attack. Eh. Shields itself. And bonus damage is based. Okay, I see. And blocks, oh, blocks buffs. So because of the change with blocks buffs, you could actually use this little guy in uh, SW10. Every, even Because let's say like you want more survivability and you don't have a Naga, this little guy will work. Because now you're going to have double block buffs with uh, Modest, because everyone runs Modest, right? So now you have another block buff. I don't have a secondary Modest to run. So I could run him and replace one of my Nagas. So he's usable. Is he the optimal choice? Absolutely not. But you can definitely use him. 100%. I wonder... Oh, his name... Oh, dude. I have to build him just for the name. I like the name. Cog. <laughs> I like that. I like that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. No, but he's usable. He's usable. There's just better options. Oh, hey, Bubba. Hey, buddy. How you doing there? And then this is the other guy I'm building, too. Now, the stream that I pulled him, I was not aware that this is pronounced Wonga. So I got the giggles like I was freaking 10 years old because I kept calling him Wanga. And... I, I was saying it so much. I was like, yeah, I plan on using Wanga, Wanga, Wanga. Like, I just kept saying Wanga. And then I realized I was saying Wang. <laughs> I started to giggle and make... And one of my streamers pointed out it's Wanga. I'm, I'm doing okay. Uh, Bubba, I'm not 100%. Um, I'm not feeling the greatest, to be honest. I almost wasn't going to stream today. But I am a streamer of my word. And I want to keep my promise. And, uh, and I am here. I'm here. Getting the job done. Let's see. Let's level him. Get a skill up in him. Alright. And then uh, let's skill up my... It's my dark. Where are you at? Violet, you're turning. There she is. I really like her name. Because um, 
for those of you that watched the original Willy Wonka in a Chocolate Factory, every time I see her name, I think of that one part where he's all, Violet, you're turning Violet. So this, it always reminds me of that. That's literally the only reason I built her. And then someone told me she was useful, and I was like, well, all right, it just works out. Yeah, you're turning Violet. I'm such a nerd. My wife thinks when I do stuff like that, it's so nerdy. Positivity. Yeah, dude, I'm super positive. Oh, okay. So, hey, I don't know if you guys were here, but um, did you hear what happened with my uh, water AA after stream yesterday? I was so bummed. Is she close to max yet? That one's max. That one's max. Two more there. One more there. All right, getting closer. All right, I need to do one more. Uh, you know what? I'm going to start leveling... Um, this no I'm gonna use that somewhere else never mind forget I started talking yeah so I don't know if you heard but um after stream yesterday I went to go uh, six star my water AA and I was like you know I've been wanting to do it I couldn't decide I'm fine like yeah I'm gonna do it I'm gonna do it so I went through and I burned all my uh, my three star fodder oh I hate that bug I burned all my three-star fodder. I made five one-star fizzle puffs, hopped into the promote, said, all right, let's do it. Threw them all in there. The game locks up. I was like, no. I waited about a minute or so, closed it, restarted it. Came back in. He's still five-star, and it ate three of my fuzzle puffs. I was like... I was, I was that angry where it's just like frustration because of all the work you did to get those. And I was like, you have to be kidding me. So that's kind of my the, how I started this stream. It's just a warning to everyone. If it does lock up during promotion, you might lose some of the fodder that you threw in there. And so um, I did submit a ticket to customer care for Game Loft. And um, they got back to me today. They asked for some screenshots, so I sent them those, and I'm hoping they're gonna take care of this for me because it, it honestly, I'll be honest, that's why I didn't really farm much at all today. I was really just that bummed. Like I'd start the game and I would see that he's still five star, and I would I was like, nah, screw it. I just didn't want to play. I just really didn't. No, honestly, TC, that happened. Like I was just really, really bummed. It, it, it made me not play the game all day. I logged in to collect my 5 o'clock stuff, and that's it. Do you, no, you can't. Okay, so here's the thing. I'm, I am I, I, I'm not 100% squeaky clean like rule follower, but, I mean, all of us, we can't DM game loft every time, right, we have an issue. We have to go through the proper channels, right, and go through the process, go through the, the machine. Maybe if I was a bigger streamer, like, you know, if I was like a Clay or a YDCB or someone like that, you know, I'd have the clout, if you will, or the backing to be able to say, hey, you know, uh, Game Off Sean, help me out. This is what happened, right? But I'm not. So I don't want to – I'm sure that guy's got a ton of stuff, and all the devs, you know, and publishers um, that are on the Discord have a lot of stuff to do. Yes. And I don't want to do it. And it looks like the process is working, albeit slow – but it looks like it's working, so we'll see how it all turns out. But I was I was seriously bummed. I wasn't like angry, like I hate this game, I hate life. It was just like, ah, because I burned like I had a bunch. I was telling saying earlier, I had a bunch of um, fire boon sisters that I was basically saving because I was gonna max skill one, and I burned all of them because I needed more three star fodder. I didn't realize how low I was on it. So I had to burn through the three stars I was saving for uh, for skill ups and things like that. So that's what really made it hurt even more. The fact that I sacrificed all that to get this guy six star, and then it just I lose two of the fodder. It was just it wasn't a good time. I'll be honest. I was I was hating life, as my kids, as my oldest son says. I was definitely hating life. All right, let's work on this for the three. I might go broke on it because this is worth uh, a lot of people don't plus 15 these and I get why but I do it oh come on all right maybe I'll do an easy one I felt lucky 
I felt like since I got uh, a little bit of the short end of the stick last night that uh, they would throw me a bone on some uh, gear level ups, but that's okay. Let's let's just pick something easy to get the daily done. Uh, what's this look like? Oh yeah, that's actually decent. Uh, that's actually decent. Yeah, I was super bummed. I was really, really bummed. So much so I didn't play. So I'm really behind. Oh man, of course it goes in a flat stat max. You should have went into this one. But, you know, such is life. These things happen. In the grand scheme of things, it's, it's a game and it's not that much of a big deal. I'm sure they'll sort it out. All right, let's get this one done and then all my dailies are good. I feel bad though, because now I'm kind of short sh short changing my uh, viewers for Saturday morning summons. Typically I have about 30 ready to go 30 of the 40 and this I'm, I'm gonna play pretty hardcore tomorrow I'm gonna make sure I'm just spamming ed10 and um, and getting drops getting a uh, disc and shards so that way I can build it up if I don't at least have 30 I might do a pack just so I can get 30 at minimum 30 summons for the Saturday stream although if you've seen any of my Summon videos, except not except for this last one. It was a uh, dude. BMs are crazy good. They're so good. Like I don't have all of them. I have the one, but if you look at their skills, like all of them, every single one of these seem like they're just so useful everywhere. Like just everywhere. I wouldn't mind another one, but for right now, I want either a, a Water Monkey King any of the greater demons and any of the where are they at siege tanks yeah dude ink ninjas are good i really want this one though i really really want this i tried to pull them from the exclusive banner when the game was first released and uh, it just didn't happen that's the only i mean uh, this is honestly the only exclusive banner the ink ninja one i never got anything from I got my Zevron, which is Water AA from uh, the Water AA banner, or the AA banner. I got my Blade Master from the Blade Master banner, and I got two pirates from the exclusive banner. I got Kendrick from the first when it was just the green pirate, and then I got the red pirate when it was everyone. So the ink one's the only one I never got an exclusive from. Butter, start, oh, dude, Water Monkey Monster. King is OP. Do you honestly have him? Like, did you, were you here when I was explaining, like, why he is OP for arena offense? Like, if you, if you have him, you need, like, ASAP need to build him mortal. Dude, you did one. Okay, all right. Bubba, honestly. So, check it out. Okay. Let's look at your water uh, monkey. So, here's the thing. All this stuff, all these, the first three skills. The first three skills kind of, eh, they're good. They're okay. But here is your money maker for PvP offense, okay? Read this. This is an AoE ability that ignores shields and is guaranteed to crit. So you don't even have to invest in crit damage. You don't have, or crit rate. So what you do with him is you build a mortal and you get like 200% crit damage. Then you go in. And you hit this thing when they, because you know how in PvP they all group in the center. You wait for them all to group and you drop this. This is an AoE and it's going to one shot everyone. Here's the thing they got a Naga, doesn't matter. Ignore shields. They got a tanky unit, doesn't matter. It's going to crit and then your crit damage from Mortal is going to kick in and you're just going to, you're just going to decimate them. There really isn't a decent way to, to counter this at all. This is money, sir. This is money for AO right here. Because, I mean, a big thing now is shielding. Everyone wants to run shields. The only, what stops him and the team, the one team you will avoid is Water AA. Because Water AA brings a vulnerability. So you would blow this and then Water AA's invulnerability would be up and you do no damage. So you just waste it and likely you're going to lose. Especially if you're banking on just this ability. So avoid water AA teams or any team that has a monster with um, invulnerability, and you'll be fine. Because immunity won't matter. You're not trying to deb. You're not trying to debuff them. You're just trying to one shot them. All right. Let me catch up now with the other stuff. 
Uh, my gear drops have sucked, but I got some lucky pulls so far. Oh, that's good. That's it. And, and gear drops are going to be like that, Waffle. I mean, I've been farming uh, ED10 and SW10, and I've only gotten one good pair of crit rate um, gloves, which I needed for a, Bubba, a Baba Cruck build I was working on. Uh, I spent 1800 in Pirate Banner and got... Oh, crush, that sucks. I'm sorry, man. I don't, I don't know how much I spent in Ink Ninjas, but I got nothing there. I'm, I know it was over 500, but I'm not positive on how much exactly. Glance. Uh, Nature Ink Ninja has been nerfed. Oh, really? Third skill, no damage. I got Nature Ink Ninja two days ago, and yesterday nerfed him. Oh, really? I didn't know he was nerfed. Well, that's a bummer. He was the one I wanted. I don't know now. Because I heard the dark one, um, it's, there, it's OGD doesn't really apply reliably. And its damage is only okay, from what I understand. Same. I have ridiculous LB look. I have dark. Oh my goodness! Light TK, light and dark candy, and a bunch of. Oh my gosh! Crush that. That's killing it, buddy. I wish I had that kind of luck. I have one LD laser, and that is my uh, uh, Camille, the light basilisk. You need the armor for him. Yes, you do need the armor to make him OP, uh, Bubba. You have got immortal. Is your only thing. Mortal is what you need because you're you're guaranteed to crit so you don't have to worry about crit rate You don't have to worry about anything. All you have to do is get crit damage subs and then build them your um, Gear will be HP crit damage HP Here's the reason for HP just in case things go south and say they have a really tanky water uh, Or a really tanky greater demon or something like that and this doesn't one-shot them, but gets them low you at least want him to be able to survive a couple of hits and not just insta die after he um, after he drops it. But if you want to just go pure get glass cannon on him, you'd go attack, crit damage, attack for sure. No, no doubt in my head. Attack, crit damage, attack. You're gonna do a mega crap ton of damage. But if you ever accidentally get stunned or something like that, you may not live through it unless you bring um, units with immunity. And um, or in vulnerability because you get stunned in PvP, you're just a lot of times you never recover. Although it is better, it is better. I'll say that because dazzling no longer constantly stuns, and the archangel's ability no longer counts as an immobilized effect. So, but yeah, that that's how you build him. He he is an excellent unit, Bubba. Excellent unit, but PvP only. Like looking at the rest of his kit, I mean he has cool little things he can do. But there are others that will do it better. And I guess you can say with this ability here too, he could be useful in SW10 because if she were to put up her shield, not her in, uh, in vulnerability, mind you, but her shield, his damage from here would at least ignore that. So he wouldn't re uh, she wouldn't re or he, whatever you want to call it, wouldn't. Well, it's a widow, so the widow is actually a she. So. She wouldn't be able to regenerate as much health when she has that shield up. But yeah, great unit, Bubba. Great unit. Great unit. All right, let's see what Crest said. Okay, yeah. That that you know that's what I do, um, Crush, with mine. Is before I hit my BM's ult, I wait to see either that they're stunned from um, Camille. Or that they got stunned from Zinnia. You know how she knocks them into the air? Because when you ult at that time, there's, they can't respond to it, right? They can't shield. They can't heal. They can't do anything but take the damage. So usually I'll, I'll do that. And then I'll wait till they hit the ground. And I'll do the spin. And by then, most times they're dead. Not always. Not always. But most times they're dead. And see, spin and you're done. Like that's that's pretty much even when people have full six uh, six star teams That's honestly how it goes and the reason why is because I built mine a hundred percent crit rate like She's at a hundred percent crit, but only like 50% crit damage. I wish I had more crit damage on her. I'm working on um, a Experimental build with her, but I need vampire pieces with crit damage on it And I've yet to get one piece with crit damage not one. So I'm thinking of taking Vampire off of her and running her as Mortal. And 100% crit with like, if I can get it, 225 crit damage. 
she will absolutely destroy everything. But she'll be glass. Like, she'll honestly be glass. I won't be able to live through anything. That's that's the downside when you go pure... When you go glass cannon, I mean, you'll do a ton of damage. But in, in PvP, if you get caught, like, here in the middle, like, they stun you or something like that, then you're done. Because you don't have the HP to live through it. Yeah, yeah, don't worry about six stars, dude. Don't, don't. Like, I, I used to be the exact same way. I'd be like, oh, a six-star team. I'm going to skip it. But um, a couple of weeks ago, when I actually was playing uh, Arena pretty hardcore, I didn't have a choice. I had to hit them because the higher-up teams were pretty much all six-star. And I found out, wow, they're not really that tough. Only certain six-star teams are tough. Not all of them. I ran into a killer one that used mana. Manus? Oh my goodness. That team wrecked me. Like, I mean, it was just ridiculous. It started off really good, and it just went downhill like three seconds into it. And then I never recovered. But here's my um, my BM stats here. Oh, 52%. I thought it was 60%. And then I do have a lot, a lot of attack speed. A lot. So she does get bonus damage from that. High defense, because again, I use her in PvP and she's my farmer. So, and then um, decent HP, 40k. <laughs> yeah, dude, I wouldn't mess with a full 6-star AA team, but you are a brave son of a gun for doing it. I salute you, sir. Two, oh my god, two water? Uh, yeah, nah, I would never have hit that. I'd have been like... Okay, sir, you made your point clear. You do not want to be hit. And I wouldn't have touched it. But yeah, I, I like her. I mean, she's a really good unit. Let me see. Um, I'm going to go broke on this and see if I can get this to plus 15 and 100k. I doubt it. Uh, it can happen. I actually got to plus 15 from plus 9 the other day. No joke. And 400k from plus 9. I was like... How did that just happen? Like 13, it only took two pulses. Uh, and at 14, it only took one. And I was just like, wow. Under 400K. I was, I was, dude, I've actually spent four over 400K just trying to get from 14 to 15 on a few pieces. So I was really shocked to see that. I didn't think it was going to make it. Oh, well. She needed it anyway. You know what? I didn't even check to see if I had a six-star shoulder. Oh, I don't. Okay. Yeah, that, that AA team sounds redonkulous. Hey, guys. Thanks for coming out. I do appreciate it. I just want to say thanks. You know, thanks for all the follows and the support that you guys have been giving me. I really appreciate it. I really do. Thank you. We got about 15 minutes left in the stream. And then I'm going to go to bed. Any uh, common disc? Oh, don't forget to hoard your common disc. Hoard them. That vent starts tomorrow. All right, buddy. You have a good one, sir. I'll see you on the Saturday stream. If you're available. If you're. Oh, that's right. I don't have any money. I just blew it all. Thank you. Dang it. I should have checked here first. Yeah, no, dude. Typically, my uh, RAR, my, my uh, Thursday streams are only an hour to an hour and a half. My Saturday stream is the big one. Um, I think I haven't set any records like yourself with your 10, 11 hour streams. But um, my longest one was like five and a half hours on a Saturday. But typically, they're only supposed to be three. It's usually about four, four hours, four hours and 30 minutes around there. Because people will ask me to do some stuff and I'll try it out for them and I'll just go over. Which I'm okay with because I've talked to my wife and she's 100% okay. She knows I'm trying to build up my stream. I'm trying to get, you know, internet legit. Oh, no problem, Bubba. No problem at all, my friend. No problem at all. I'm glad to help. Another child of the decade that I'm from. It is always a pleasure. And... Dude, your streams were redonkulous because I would go to bed, I'd wake up, and you'd still be streaming. And then you'd still be streaming like almost a few times when I was on lunch, you were still streaming. 
That's crazy. But one day, because I know I kept telling you to do it, one day I am, once I get, I want to say like maybe 10 or 15 subs, not followers, but when I actually get 10 or 15 subs, I think I'm going to do a uh, 24 hour stream where I'm going to do a bunch of random stuff. It's not just going to be games. Um, I'm actually, uh, I have plans for once I start getting subs, like crazy things that I'm going to do. Like, I can't believe this guy is doing it. Like there, there are some, a few hobbies I'm into that they're PG, they are PG, but they'll be like, I can't believe a grown man does this. Yes. It'll be a IRL, IRL stream. Yeah. Well, um, well, I sure you heard, I'm already going to have one and that's, uh, me riding a unicycle. So that was a promise I made to some streamers and I, I got to live up to it. I just got to find an affordable unicycle, right? I'm not looking for, uh, for anything too fancy. And, Wow, you know why I help people so much, man? I'm going to be honest. It's because of you. Like, when I started L2R and I ran across your stream, you were the only streamer at the time that actually looked at your chat, answered, like, what to do and how to do it. And um, that, that you were awesome for that, dude. Think about it. I had already paid 50 bucks, and I abandoned 50 bucks to join the same server you guys were on because that's how helpful you were. Like, you're, you're a cool cat. Yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be embarrassing extremely for me, Bubba, but it will be awesome and should be hilarious. It should be hilarious. No, I don't know. And that's what I like doing things just for the lols. Like where it makes absolutely no sense whatsoever, but it's purely for the lols. Now you guys wouldn't believe like you can't buy like a crappy unicycle like they're all like I didn't even know they were this big a thing right like there's like unicycles on Amazon for like 200 bucks it's like I didn't know it was a thing like I didn't even know there was a variety of them and then you read like the description it's like our ultra high blah 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 provides the best in unicycle it's like what they even have unicycle stands it's like what what have I gotten myself into? The shady underground world of unicycling. Uh, uh, do roar, it's no problem, sir. You are a, a good, you're a good guy. You really are, you really are. You, your streams were always informative. They were always fun. I liked watching them. Cause you were just helpful, man. You're just helpful. I have to admit though, I, I was hating life because um, I remember how you were on me about re-rolling when I went over. And um, I was hating life re-rolling. I, I re-rolled for two days straight to, to get into uh, your server. And I got the, finally got the um, rare staff. And I was like, yes. And I started. That, that, was, that part of it wasn't fun, I'll be honest with you. But I did it because you're just that awesome. Just that awesome. Got about another 10 minutes or so left. Oh, dude, it stopped. I'm sorry. I got distracted. I was looking up unicycles still. Try to find one that have hit me. Some kind of tall at six foot even. Yeah, some dude. And then, then what I hated was when I'd be re-rolling and someone would come to your stream. He'd be like, yeah, you got to re-roll. And then like two hours later, they're like, oh, I got this rare. Is it good? And I was just like, FML. <laughs> That's every t And that happened so often when I was re-rolling. Re re I was just like, FML. Screw this. <laughs> uh, yeah, and I finally gave... I settled for the staff. I wasn't going to keep pushing for the... I forgot what the orange ones were called. Do you remember the rarity for the o orange ones? And then you're just like, no, you got the rare staff. That's still good. It's, it's not a whatever the orange is called, but it's super good. Because unlike the orange ones, if you don't get a rare orange one, then you're still going to have to replace that with the rare weapon anyway. And you're like, it's still a good good start. Hey, Ghetto Sith Lord. How's it going, man? Welcome to the stream. Glad to have you. But yeah, that was just, ugh. Those were the days. Those were the day wars. Those were the days. 
One day I might do like a eight hour marathon or maybe a 12 hour marathon just in this game. Just like uh, maybe uh, before a Sunday reset, start at like uh, 5 a.m. and go to 5 p.m. Just do PvP the whole time, try to get a high rank. Which I probably could, just based off my AO, not my AD. You look at my AD, it tends to lose consistently. It's not as great of a stall team as I thought it was, I guess. Oh well. How you doing, Ghetto? Your, your uh, evening going okay or morning, depending where you are? Oh, okay. Oh, well, welcome, sir. I'm glad you made it to one of my streams. I appreciate it. Hey, Peter. I like Snaily. What you thought of her? People here like, yeah. Everyone's kind of uh, got a, a, love of, a love affair with Dark. But um, once I'm done with this run, let's take a peek at her. We helped out Bubba earlier with uh, his uh, his uh, water monkey. He didn't know he actually had a, a diamond. So I'd be glad to help you with your light snake lady. See what you got, where you can use her. And get, get, you know, get in stuff like that where someone says, hey, you helped me and you made things better. I, I appreciate it. I really, really appreciate it. Those comments mean a lot and it helps fuel me to keep going. Because uh, I learned from a great one, a great master of help who uh, helped me out many, many moons ago. So I want to pay it forward. Oh, you did? Yeah, Fire MK I haven't used, but man, the buffs on paper look redonkulous. Like, I mean, they just look really good. I haven't built mine. I want to at some point, but I haven't. Um, so, all right, let's take a look at the Light Snake Lady and see what we got here for Peter, I think it was, right? Yeah. Peter. How did it get worse? I gotta look at that Reddit thread. I can't see how it would actually get worse. Uh, collection. Oh, I skipped it. Dang it. Alright. Um, where is she? Is that her? That is not her. Oh, lady. There she is. Okay. Let's see what we got. Okay, so standard. All right. Some is a swarm of spear. Okay, standard there. Okay, standard. So here's the thing. She is gonna be just as good as all the non dark snake ladies so what that means and, and all snake ladies regardless of which one you pull are maze balls they are really good for ogd damage all of them hands down it's just the dark one is better at it than most so she fits right along with all the rest of them here is where you lucked out though you pulled this one, and unlike if you had pulled the nature or the water, where you can't, you really wouldn't want to use the nature in SW10, you can bring your light one to both SW10 and ED10, no problems. And she's going to be just as useful as all the other snake ladies for it. So she is still good. Is she as good as the dark? No. But does that mean she is garbage and not worth building? Absolutely not. If I had her, I would build her in a second. Six star her and use her in both SW10 and ED10. Um, now this is this part's experimental for me. I'm thinking about building my fire one mortal to see if I can actually get good DPS out of it. But if you want to be consistent and build her reliably, you want to go HP, HP, accuracy because really all you're looking for is her to do her OGD. Um, off the uh, subs you'd want on it are going to be accuracy. HP and defense and this will serve you pretty well set doesn't really matter if you're having problems getting your accuracy over and here's my personal suggestion 75 men for accuracy minimum and if you're having problems getting over that I'd probably go with a uh, precision offset for your main set you can really use anything on them you can use uh, vital go two times vital if you just want to make sure she lives you can go vital sturdy to give her a little bit more defense if you're having problems picking up defense. Because I personally recommend your defense is over 750. 
for SW10 and ED10. If you can get into 800, that's even better. So that, that's how I'd build her. Let's see. Uh, her didn't help. I've got fire at the moment, but she doesn't have enough HP for... What's her HP, Peter? Just curious for your fire snake lady's HP. Oh, dude, Rar, I'm definitely down with uh, another game, sir. For sure. Um, the thing is, I would avoid... I'm kind of done with uh, turn-based games. So if you come across a turn-based game, I don't know how into it I would be. Alright, Ghetto. I always make it to a point to thank creators, especially ones that take time to make any form of guides. It also is helpful. Well, thank you. I appreciate that, Ghetto. It, it, to me, at least, it means a lot. And I'm, I'm a... As I've said many times, I'm a small fish in a big pond. So when I can reach someone like yourself and get those kind of compliments, honestly, it means a lot. My wife can tell you when you guys say this stuff, I honestly, I, I talk about it here at the house and say, hey, you know, I may not, I may only have seven or eight viewers at a time, but I'm helping people, and that feels good. I was, yep, BFA, dude, of course. Of course, bro. Bros to the end. Peter, I was thinking of six-star and dodgy. Okay, so here's the thing, Peter. Um, from what I understand, one of my regulars here, I think it's TC. And TC, correct me if I'm wrong, if you're still around. But he said there was a huge nerf to Dark Fox and that she is no longer worth building. And he said the nerf to her was so bad that he's no longer consistent in his SW10 and ED, uh, SW10 uh, runs. I'm sorry. So he recommended not building her. Oh, so you're saying she's still good? Okay. Well, hey, if she's still working for you, that's awesome. I thought you just hadn't built her and you were going to. Because the feedback I've gotten, because I don't have her, this is the feedback I've gotten, is it's not worth it. Yes, I did. I learned from the best. There you go. Give credit where credit is due. I'm a big fan of that. Okay, let's hit an easy one that I can just auto while we're, we're talking builds and stuff. She got you in an SW9? Okay. Oh, well, keep going with her, man. And that's what I'll always say. I'll never tell someone they're doing it wrong, especially when what they have is working for them. So if she's working for you, regardless of an experience someone else is having, keep moving forward with that. Don't change it. Uh, I might have to manual this. Yeah, I'm going to have to manual. The AI derp that one hard. Because this isn't even a hard team. I'm playing with Justin Healy right now. The AI sometimes is so bad. So, so bad. This team is like not even hard. Yeah. Oh, I got stunned. No. Oh, dude, you get a stun, and that's what happens. That's embarrassing. You got an easy team. It just it makes you sad inside. It just does. But that is a... Oh, and then the game crashes. Oh, my goodness. Oh, I thought the crashes were behind us with the update one, but... What I just showed you is a good example of when you build a glass cannon BM. You saw I got stunned. I did not have the HP to live through it, and I just died. And that's the downside when you go that way. And you got to consider I have 900 defense and 40k HP on her, and I still couldn't get out of it because that's just how damaging these abilities are. You really need like 50, 60k HP if you're going to live through a stun with like a K almost of defense. It's redonkulous, but that's the meta. I mean, that's that's where we're at. Yeah, six starring is definitely going to help survivability, hands down, because you're going to increase your stats, right? So yeah, it'll, it'll it'll help for sure. It'll help for sure. You know what? This is how slow I am. You guys might have seen if you've been here, my wife and um, daughter and her friend leaving. And I just realized it's Thursday. My daughter's off to gymnastics. I didn't even say bye. I thought they were just going to the store. But that's how slow I am. Think about how long ago that occurred, if you were in the stream. And it just now occurred to me, like, hey, where did my daughter and my wife go? And I was like, that's what happens when you get old. You get that delayed reaction of, what, 45 minutes ago they left? It's like... 
I know I had more family members. I'm what happened to them? <laughs> that's so ridiculous, but oh well, that's what happens. And, and if you can't tell, I'm trying to bring ridiculous back. So that okay. And uh, again, I don't normally cuss, but as you can see from my channel, I like the '80s. As you can see from a lot of my movie references, I like the '80s. But another thing I'm trying to uh, bring back, and and hopefully you guys don't consider this cussing, is totally bitching. That was a pretty popular thing to say when I was a. a when I was a pup. I think the AI is going to be the biggest challenge for this game going forward. It's SW being around for a few years and still... Oh, dude. The AI in SW is quite possibly some of the worst AI I have ever seen in any game, period. You do you? <laughs> Thanks, Peter. Thank you, sir. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Yeah, I'm, I'm an oddball, man. I, for as old as I am, I... I'm pretty odd. I'm pretty odd. I mean, I still regularly, true story, watch cartoons and enjoy them. And this is of my own free will. It's no longer because I have like four kids, right? Because I got two that are in college and two, one that's going to be in high school and another that's going to be in um, junior high. So I don't have a reason to still watch cartoons other than my personal enjoyment of them. Oh yeah, because I'm a big, big fan of the 80s, ghetto. It's all about the 80s with me. That's what the 8-0 in uh, Valance 80 stands for. So, because I'm, I'm a child of the 80s. I'm very proud to admit it. All right. Uh, thanks for coming out, Peter. It was a pleasure, sir. You have a good one. We're a little over, but we had some questions. I don't want to run off if we got people that still need some answers. So, I'll stick around for a little bit more. Do some farming. Hopefully get some summon discs so uh, Saturday summons isn't totally disappointing. So I have a... Like, uh, I was thinking about games. Um, RAR. And, like, really, like, other than this, there hasn't been, like... And I really like this game, obviously. I stream it. I learn it. I try to keep up with the meta to help my... Uh, and uh, my users. Oh, late 80s, baby. All right, there you go. There you go. So, I mean, if you're going to summon, disc is better. Because if you do the premium pack, you get one, basically one free summon, right? So I think it's 11, if I remember correctly. So yeah, you, you do want to do um, disc over pure crystals. And there's no, there's no um, rate difference. And I still don't know in 2018 why they give you the option for both, to be honest. Like, I just really don't. Maybe for those people who want to do single one-off summons. But I mean, how many people are still doing that? Like, if I were a dev, one of the numbers I would run is how many people actually use single crystal summons in any game because it just seems like oh my gosh this run went terrible yeah see that's what crystals should be used for is refills and if you're gonna crystal summon buy the premium pack don't just do pure crystals <sighs> I'm sorry guys I apologize Mm. I freaking love this song. Oh, the whales do it? I'm not a whale, man. I'm definitely not free to play. I'll, I'll admit that in a second. But I am for sure not in the whale category. Dude, this is... Is Xenia and Nature Naga going to pull this off? Is this going to be hella slow? Dude, honestly... Nagas are so MVP. Ah, oh, Can Naga... Can you do it with your shield? Can you do it? Like, Nagas, honestly, are MVP, man. This team should have died a long time ago. And I'm crazy enough just to sit here and watch him try to do it. Oh, he tried, right? He tried. Mm -hmm. Oh, you just got to farm him, Ghetto, or her. You just got to farm her. She's, she's a free-to-play unit. Because um, I don't want to wish that you get her in a, a LD sum, and that would suck. Getting a free-to-play unit that you can farm in an LD disc is just heartbreaking. Like, anyone who gets a Light Astromancer or a Xenia in an LD pool, I honestly feel for them. 
I'm trying to think of who I need to ascend. I keep thinking I'm going to send this snake lady. I mean, I don't have any other green units that I want to ascend. I still haven't built my Rhoda. Like, she's four, she's still four-star one unascended. Maybe build her? Oh, you got her in a disc? No! I'm sorry, Bubba. I'm sorry, my friend. Does the Timekeeper first skill work in Xenia cooldown? Ooh, that's a good question. I believe they changed it. So... Okay, let me think. If I remember from the patch notes, Ghetto, the Zinnia's cooldown can't cool her own cooldown, but other cooldowns should be, a, be able to affect hers. So that means minus skill one should still be able to affect it where you can get that minus one second. This should still work, but her own, she can't lower her own using this anymore. That was changed. All right, back to back to farming. Yeah. Oh, you were happy you got her in a disc? Okay, then never mind. I'm sorry. My bad. Hey, as long as you're happy with it, man, that's all that matters. I personally would have been upset just because, like, my my LDs have my LD luck is just terrible. Oh, chance. I'm sorry, man. It happens though. Sometimes RNG Jesus just isn't your friend. I don't, I don't know why. Take a look at my last summoning video. That'll tell you exactly. RNG Jesus was not only not my friend today, but he, or that day, he was pissed. <laughs> kind of like uh, it's a movie called Poltergeist 2 where this guy's car breaks down and uh, he brings it to his mechanic and says, uh, hey, can you fix my car? And his mechanic's like, oh, why? Is your car upset? He's all upset. My car is pissed off. <laughs> uh, one of the great. I remember watching that as a kid, laughing my rear off at that part. And then my mom was mad that I actually got the joke. Ah, uh, chance. I mean, it's not all all nat fives, my friend. Like there are plenty of nat fours and threes that are just as good as nat fives. Some people argue that Snake Lady should be considered um, nat fives. Because Snake Ladies are really good. They are really, really good. Um, four star units. Nagas, in my opinion, are definitely worthy of five star. Nagas are excellent, excellent support units. I try to carry a Naga with me in almost all my teams. No problem, Ghetto. Thanks for coming out. I'm probably going to wrap it up myself. We're a little over, but people still had questions. I just want to leave them hanging. You sleep well, my friend. Wake up feeling refreshed and ready for a new day. Oh, Roar, I missed your message. Yes, until I get a grandson. But I'll still be watching cartoons even until then. Hopefully the ones when uh, my grandson or granddaughter comes around uh, will still be good. Because some of these newer ones were not that great. Like, not at all. Like, I remember one I didn't like was uh, Whatever Happened to Robot Jones. I was not a fan of that one back in the day with my, my older kids when they were younger. But there was a crazy one that we liked, which is, um, it was called uh, The Amazing World of Flap, or The Adventures of Flapjack, I think. That one was pretty crazy. It was about this kid named Flapjack who uh, rode around in a whale's mouth in a world where candy was considered like uh, alcohol. Like kids would eat it and get kind of like uh, high sugar highs. And it was, it was funny, weird, but funny. Yeah, I just like the newer stuff a lot too. Ranked 190 in summoning and still known at five. Oh, that's, that has to sting. Yeah, dude, you even know what I'm talking about. Bubba, like every stream, you just strengthen our bond, sir. Every single stream. Yes, Knuckles was hilarious. It seemed like he would always take advantage of Flapjack, but then he would, like, pull it, pull through, and and show that he wasn't a hundred percent jerk off. Yes. Right? Good job, guys. Good one shot. Apparently, one my kid shot. just killed something, and uh, uh, wow, he's he's raiding right now. That's my oldest. You heard. He's awesome. I like him. He's a keeper. I'll keep him around for a couple of more years until he gets married. 
Yeah, you watch the best stuff too, man. You watch the best stuff too. Hey, hey, welcome new people. I was about to um, wrap up the stream, but if you have any questions, I am definitely willing to stick around, offer my um, advice. I'll freely admit to not knowing everything about the game, but I definitely will pass on what I know to help my viewers out. I'll stick around for till another nine minutes, so it'll be almost a two-hour stream at that point. Just to make sure everyone had their questions answered and people are good. Dude, this, honestly, I really like this scanned warlord. He's a cool unit. You know, the problem I have with games like these, and I hope they address this in, um, in the co-op mode they're working on and in um, whatever they have planned for Guild Wars, is that you have so many great units, right? But you only have a limited amount of places you can use them. Like, if you guys have been watching my stream for a while, you know that I've built a ton of crazy units. I've used a ton of different comps, and they've worked, right? They've been reliable. But because they're not optimal, I don't use them all the time, right? I'll, I'll move units around. And what I'm hoping is that they'll do two things with co-op and um, Guild Wars. One, they'll encourage you to use units that are less used, right? Like, bring some people into the light who normally wouldn't get any love. Um, and make the, the, the battles larger scale to encourage everyone to use more units. Like, maybe in Guild War, you have a huge boss that, you know, everyone gets like uh, 20 units or whatever. They have to go and try to kill it. And maybe they give us like real-time raids, kind of like what WoW does, right? Where you pick a unit, your buddy picks a unit, and you guys zone into a dungeon. And you go through and clear the dungeon for gear or Whatever the heck they're going to throw in there for you to, to incentivize you to go in there. But that's what I'm really hoping for, you know, because there's just so many great units and so many people get locked into the meta of you have to use this unit. You have to use that unit or yeah. your team's not great because you're not using the, the, the optimal. Honestly, I use Bubba Crut for the name. And you know what? She is amazing. Is she slightly slower than a snake lady? Absolutely. But is she fun? Do I like using her? Perfect. More power to you. And I think that's how you should play too. I can't, obviously I'm not telling you to do it, but think about it. Do you really want to stress that you don't have XYZ unit and your team isn't efficient because someone in Reddit or someone in a Discord told you it's not as good as my team? No. You want to use units that you like, units that you have fun with. And if you're clearing it 10 seconds slower than they are, 30 seconds slower than they are, who cares? You're having fun. And that's what it's all about, guys. And that's why I want them to mix it up a little bit. You know, have us use units in these other modes that normally wouldn't we wouldn't use. Perfect example is look at uh, uh, Necro in uh, SW. Tell me that didn't make people dust Honestly, off a bunch of units of that are right worthless. Like, uh, what, what's the name of the Harpy? The Harpy that was like, Necro goddess. What is her name again? Um, legit over half the, the red one, the fire one, right? I can't remember. But like, look at her. Totally useless. Like, no one used her. But Necro came out, and wow, look. So everyone started yeah, building. Her. And that was really, really, really fun. Really, really fun. And, and that's what I want to see from this game. But keep in mind, we're only like, what, a little over a month into it? And we're still, you know, we're at the tip of the iceberg. Game Loft has got promises of they're going to do good things for us. So let's just hang in there, you know, and see what they have planned. Because I, I think they're going to do good things. Their communication already is excellent. So I only see it getting better as their team matures and the game uh, progresses. Because, uh, what? I, no, it's not, not loot. No, that's not it. That's not it. I'm pretty sure that's not it. All right, we're going to, I'm going to cheat. I'm going to Google. I'm going to Google uh, Fire Harpy. I'm pretty sure it was Fire Harpy SW. Oh, dude, you're right. It is Lukash. That doesn't sound familiar. Maybe it wasn't Fire Harpy then? No, it is Fire Harpy. Okay. I'm sorry, Bubba. I doubted you. I doubted you, sir. And uh, I'm not worthy. I'm not worthy. <laughs> You win, you win. You are 100% correct. 
The who's rolling up the Man, that does not sound familiar at all. Oh, you have it opened on your phone? <laughs> all right. You know, I stopped playing that Some game that years game and years ago. That's why I was telling my buddy Rar, if he's looking for a, a game for us to team up in, I'm not going to be down for another turn-based game. I'm just done. Done with turn-based. Turn-based, you know, from a streaming perspective, works a little better because you can interact with your viewers and say, hey, this is how I'm planning out my attack. This is what's going to happen. But when you have a real-time game like this because things happen so fast, it's hard to get that kind of interaction with your streamers. So you have to, you have to take a different approach than if you're streaming a turn-based game versus a uh, real-time game like this. It's odd that I know that, but I did some research when I was before I started doing that streaming. You know what? I am in the same boat as the money, but I still I just can't do it. I can't do it anymore. The rates killed me, man. I'm being honest. Like as a cautionary tale to all developers who say you're gonna have an endless stream of cash because you make rates really hard to get, or you make uh, units really hard to get. It only lasts for so long. Before your users go, okay, this is ridiculous. I spent way too much money. And nothing cheese me off more in Summoner's War than I get a, one of the big the special packs and get absolutely nothing from it. Then go, well, I was going to use the crystals that came with at the farm, but let me buy like two or three premium packs. And again, get nothing. Like, I'm sorry, like, I'm, I'm not a baller. I do, my wife and I, we do well for ourselves. But I don't, I don't want to spend my money to get nothing. I mean, I would have honestly rather given every penny I spent in Summoner's War to a charity and have it know it's going for something than spending it on what I did and getting nothing. Because I would easily over, say, the two-year period I played, I spent easily a grand that went to nothing. What? Like, literally, where it was just summons where all I got was three stars. Like, not even skill-ups for a four-star. So, I mean, it just, I don't know. It just was too much for me after a while, Bubba. I couldn't take it. I could. I was just throwing away good money. You know what I mean? And Because that's literally what you're doing. You're giving the developer money for nothing. I mean, people, I'm sure the developers are going to be, well, you got plenty of fodder now. You can five-star something. Yeah, when I pull something worth five-starring. Mm -hmm. Like, but that's not happening. So, in, since, in essence, yes, I got nothing because I have no unit to five-star or six-star, sorry, that would need the fodder. So, all right, guys, I am getting a little lightheaded. Looks like we don't have any more questions. It's just, as usual, towards the end of the stream, it's me and Bubba just... Just having our conversation, so which I do enjoy. I hope that never changes. Um, but I want to thank all you dudes and dudettes for coming out. I appreciate all the follows. I appreciate all the support that the community has shown me. And I hope all you dudes and dudettes stay frosty out there. Thanks for watching.